dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Also, endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and to be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. The leader of the separatist group, the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Nambekano, has said that there is unwavering commitment and stubbornness to achieve an independent state of Biafra that can never be subdued by any force. Kano, who recently launched the Eastern Security Network, said the late premier of the then northern Nigeria, Ahmad Bello, had in the far back 1964 said the East should have the right to secede peacefully if they insist on breaking away from Nigeria. If the East insisted on seceding, then other Nigerians ought to concede such a right in peace. Ahmed Obelu was quoted to have said this in 1964. It's 2020 and, sti and we still insist. There is a stubbornness about hashtag Biafra that can never be subdued. And our courage rises at every attempt to intimidate us. Hashtag Eastern Security Network. Kano had said in a post on his Twitter handle on Friday the 1st. The IPOB leader who fled the country in a controversial manner following a clampdown on members of the group by the military had earlier said the Eastern Security Network will protect the people of the Southeast from frequent attacks by alleged Fulani headsmen. This is our answer to insecurity and Fulani terrorism, Namdekano had said. It has been reported that IPOB, which is led by Namdekano, is agitating for the secession from Nigeria of the Igbo people of the southeast and uh, part of the south-south of the country, Nigeria. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning Nambekano's submission that there is stubbornness about Biafra that cannot be subdued? What is this stubbornness and why can it not be subdued? Is it a general trait in all evils, as it were? Is it a general belief or is it something that was implanted in the Igbos as it were, or it is just a trait that every Igbo person possess as it were. Well, regardless of what it is and how people see it or what is going on, Nam the Kano to a very large extent have continued to demonstrate that resilience, that stubbornness, that um, intolerable uh, traits that continues to set him apart and push him to carry to come up with innovative methods of dealing with the issue at hand well it is what it is if you really really want to achieve huge um, goals targets as it were like Nam the Kano has for himself then to a very large extent, you require the huge, uh, a huge level or a huge amount of resilience, persistence, stubbornness, the willpower to say no at some point in time. So probably this is what Nambekano is referring to as a spirit that the IPOB possess when it comes to Biafra. Well, regardless of that, or that being said, that stubbornness, that according to Namdekano, says the stubbornness 
you know, it's what will propel them not to give us. Saying that Biafra can never be subdued by any force. In that case, for him to have said this, he definitely knows what he's saying and uh, what he's talking about. And probably what they have uh, done and how they have handled some issues to ensure and put some things in place to ensure that they are not uh, taken unawares by the government of the Federation. He has also said that the group cannot be subdued. So, be that as it were, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? If the group cannot be subdued, then it means that they are prepared for the eventuality or they have already put themselves in a particular uh, situation where they feel that anything could happen and they are ready for the consequence. Well, it is what it is. It's if the East insisted on succeeding or succeeding, then other Nigerians concede. Then other Nigerians ought to concede such a right in peace. So the question now is why is the East not being given the privilege to succeed? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see what will happen in this particular regard and uh, how things are at the moment. We keep our fingers crossed. We see what will happen and how Biafra or IPOP or Namdekano as it were would pan out or what they will do to improve or impress themselves as it were. Be that as it were, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I would like to hear your thoughts on this particular issue, what you feel, how things are with you concerning this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon if you are yet to subscribe so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Please endeavor to share this news story with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.